Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, it's your boy, who is Hendo, and we back talking sports. So, I wanted to do a part two to a video I did a couple weeks ago. Um, shout out to Two Raw for sharing a video, he uh, shared it. it um, y'all do know, I do these videos with no ads. So I don't really be really focused on the views. I'm more so focused on the content that I put out and everything. And I'm gonna build myself up from the bottom until I, you know what I'm saying? Until I get to a certain level, you know what I'm saying? I plan on putting a lot more money into my uh, YouTube and everything like that. But for now, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting a lot of love from a lot of people and building my stuff up organically and that means a lot to me so i appreciate you guys but yeah two raw shared the video but i said um the media why is the media so quiet on Kyrie Irving this year and they really gonna be quiet now <laughs> part two so as you know trade season is upon us we got about less than a month about three and a half weeks probably to the trade deadline, which is February 8th. And the New York Knicks have been balling five straight games. I said the OG Ananobi trade um, would be really good for what they needed, which was a, a, a good a good two-way wing and everything like that. And it seems to be uh that is that is true now i still don't think they um coming out the east they got a good you never know what could happen in in, in you know what i'm saying in these playoffs the, the right team get hot and everything like that but i don't think they beat boston or the bucks in a seven game series it's maybe a toss up with philly and then everybody else they probably could they probably could beat yeah everybody else they probably could beat but with that being said, Kyrie Irving with no Luka, just the role players and, to me, a star role player in Tim Hardaway Jr., with just the role players, they was beating up on New York. Now, New York came back at the end and everything ended up being a good game, but they was beating up on New York, bro. You know what I'm saying? So he goes, he goes out and beat and ends the uh, New York Knicks five game winning streak with no Luca. But that ain't. But this video is about Kyrie Irving and the media. Kyrie Irving has been balling since he came back. Now we did have that little spat where Luca, I guess, didn't pass him the ball, and and um, he was like wide open or whatever. And Luca got to learn to play with star players. That's what Luca needs to learn how to do. Cause it can't be the other person every time. So that's just what I want to say about that. But besides that, it's been good. Kyrie Irving tonight, fifteen of twenty six, fifty seven percent from the floor. 6 of 10 from 3, 60% from 3, 8 of 9 from the free throw line. You know he money from there, 89%. 4 rebounds, 10 assists, yes, Mr. Kyrie Irving, underrated passer, 10 assists, 2 steals, 5 turnovers, but 10 assists to 5 turnovers. He got the ball in his hand a lot, you know what I'm saying? 44 points. So 44 and 10. No Luca. And they was beating them by a wide margin until like the last, until like the fourth quarter and stuff like that. The last little minutes of the fourth quarter or just the fourth quarter in general. And they made it a game. But Kyrie Irving balled the hell out. And I'm... I can't say I'm a hundred percent certain, but I'm pretty sure that the media is not gonna not gonna try to dive too much into this. They might bring it up 
in a quick take or something like that or in a quick, you know what I'm saying, a little quick thing or whatever like that. But they're not going to expound upon it like a whole, you know what I'm saying, 20-minute segment or something like that, you know what I'm saying. Kyrie Irving this year is averaging 25 points a game. I round when I do my stuff, so, you know, 25 points per, 25 points per game, five rebounds, five assists, And in the last five games, 44 points, 33 points, 35 points, 24 points, 29 points. On 57% shooting, 44% shooting, 51% shooting, 55% shooting, and 52% shooting. 60% from the three, then he had a bad shooting game, 28% from the three. And they lost that game. But they four and one in the last five games. Twenty eight percent, seventy five percent from the three, forty two percent from the three, and fifty percent from the three. Ninety percent from the, I mean eighty nine percent from the line tonight. Ninety percent last game, a hundred, a hundred, eighty three percent. On the plus minuses, nine, minus two, they lost that game. Six, twenty seven, twenty. So it looked like the quote unquote locker room cancer selfish guy the guy that can't lead the guy that can't that can't do this that can't do that that's a cancer it looked like the Mavericks are doing very well with Kyrie Irving even when Luka is not playing Y'all forget the first two games when Luka was not playing when he first got there. They won both of those games, and Kyrie looked it really good. He fit in seamlessly in the offense. Now, when Luka came back, they had the problem with them is at the end of the game, they didn't have no defense for real to cover up Luka being so terrible on defense and Kyrie not being a, a great defender. And then at the end of the game, you know, they was they couldn't really they both clutch. So they couldn't know is it my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn. This year it's been a lot different and more of a flow of offense. And then with the additions of with the addition of Grant uh, Williams, Derek Jones Jr., Derek Lively, you know what I'm saying? Another year of Josh Green being in a uh being in the league. Tim Hardaway Jr. balling his ass off with all that. You know what I'm saying? Another year of them to a whole offseason and a fresh year, they've been playing just as well as anybody. They had the injuries. You know what I'm saying? Kyrie was out for a second. Luka was going crazy. Now Luka had been out for a couple games and Kyrie going crazy. They 4-1 and one in the last five and I just read you his stats. Balling. Straight balling. And I don't think nobody can say anything otherwise. And he's shooting 48% from the field. And 42% from three. So he having a 40-40, a 40-40-89 season. Well, Almost, uh, uh, we have an almost shit, damn near a 50, 40, 90 season. Damn near. Damn near. If he was to like go on a crazy tangent, keep going like on some Kobe shit for like the next 10 games, he could get the 50% from the field. 50, 40, and 90 from the free throw line. He shot 90% last year and 94% the year before. So he could do it, the 50, 40, 90 year. He definitely could get that done. But that's not, he. I know he focused on winning. But the media not going to talk about this. They only going to talk about it if uh, the, the Mavericks go on a five-game losing streak. Then he's he going to be all over the media. He's going to be all over NBA Today. He's going to be all over uh, what the first take. He's going to be everywhere. Like, what's wrong with the, with the Dallas Mavericks? Is it uh 
Can they work? Should they do this? Should they? I'm telling you. You already know how it go with Kyrie and the media. But right now, he's balling. This year, they're balling, and they're doing well. And when Luka is out, they're still winning. So they can't say nothing. You know the treatment. You know the treatment that the, uh, that Kyrie get from the media. Anything good about Kyrie, they try to suppress it. They try to make sure they can hold on to it and don't let it get out. But this is national TV. This is on TV. This is for NBA fans. You can't hide how you can't hide how Dallas is playing, especially without Luca, and especially when Luca was balling and without Kyrie. It's just hilarious, bro. It's hilarious, bro. It's hilarious how how good he could be playing this year, and how little to no coverage they give the Mavericks. They talk about the Mavericks every blue moon, and they might give them maybe five, maybe ten minutes if it's if it's good. Then they move right on, maybe to the Lakers, right on, maybe to you know what I'm saying, maybe to the Bucks. Right on to LeBron. Can LeBron do this? Can LeBron do that? AD. You know what I'm saying? It's the way that they're going. But, you know, the independent media people like me, we're going to talk about it. Because we actually, you know, love the whole NBA and the parody of the NBA this year. Because I don't know who's going to win out of the West. I got my f- couple teams that I think going to win at the East, but the West, I truly still don't know. I said I wouldn't pick before be- I'm going to wait a couple of games in the West. I knew really in the-, in the East who the big dogs was. But in the West, I mean, you could say Minnesota, Denver, and, you know what I'm saying, OKC, you know, but I don't know who can come out the West. That's what I'm thinking about. And we are, what we were, 30, 40 games in. You feel me? We like 30, 35 games in, and I still don't know. So that's what makes it even better for me because I'm like, man, anything could happen. Shoot, Dallas could go on a run and go all the way to the finals. The Clippers could finally break the curse and, you know what I'm saying, go to the finals. A young OKC team, Shea Gilders, could make his stamp and go to the finals. And Edwards could really prove he's something like Jordan's son and go to the finals. You know what I'm saying? Jokic could do it again. You really don't know. The Kings could, you know what I'm saying, underdog story, come out of nowhere. My Warriors can make a trade and, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying, going, you, like, you really don't know. You really do not know this year. I swear you do not know who coming out the West this year. Even if you think you know, the playoffs is different. I'm telling you, even if you think you know who coming out the West, you don't know because the playoffs is totally different. A seven-game series is totally different than playing a team once, twice, maybe three times in a season. The, the game is slower, more physical. So <clears throat> the Mavericks been balling. Kyrie been doing his thing. You know the media ain't going to talk about him. You know it, but you know I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep bringing this up. Part one, two, three, all the way up until when they either win the championship, go to the finals, or lose in the playoffs. Cause they going to the playoffs. They going to the playoffs. Luca is balling out of his motherfucking mind. MVP conversation, and Kyrie is balling out of his mind on some All NBA shit. And definitely should be an All Star this year. Definitely. Definitely should be all, and he playing like an all NBA player for sure. He averaging one point four steals this year too, and one point six turnovers. He averaging one point six turnovers this year. And mind you, he been playing the last couple of games without Luca too. So take that into context. But Kyrie balling, you know that's one of my favorite players in the league. You know what I'm saying? Top 10 favorite player in the league. Really top five, you know what I'm saying? Favorite players in the league. And one of my favorite players of all time. So, 
you know, shout out to Kyrie for balling, you know what I'm saying, getting it done without Luka, you know what I'm saying, last couple games. Four and one, they winning. So that's the main thing that that what's what matters. So and he balling and leading team. He ended a five game winning streak for one of the hottest teams in the uh, league right now. And he doing his thing, man. Shout out to Kai. I'm out. Like, share, subscribe, man. Hey. Saturday. Discord. Two o'clock. If you want to debate, if you want to talk sports, hit me up. We'll be going live on here at 1. And at 2, we're going to go on the Discord. And we're going to record videos. And we're going to, you know what I'm saying, chop it up. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to chop it up. 2, 3. Rap Guy Reloaded. Aaron. Uh, DBZ. Or whoever. Anybody else that watched me, man. Hit me up on the Discord. You know what I'm saying? I, I post my stuff in the um community chat. Who is Hendo Sports? Add me on Discord, man. Like, share, subscribe, man. I'm out. Peace.